Hmm. Welcome everybody to case number 1472. It's a game where you're going to be interrogating with some mysterious woman and you need to ask the correct questions based on this text. So let's kind of jump right on in and see how we have to, well, let me see how, how to play. I uh, imagine you're in a room and all that drones since we don't know the woman, please. Don't automatically assume she has a PhD degree in English, okay? So she may not even speak English. So when talking to her, try to be as straightforward as possible. And if she can avoid, if you can avoid using long sentences and un unnecessarily complicated words, but phrase yourself by using a simple English as possible and ask one thing at a time. Good luck. Okay, so... Ah, there you are. Mrs. Emma Hollis, I presume. It is lovely to finally meet you. My name is Simon. I'm here to interview you about the recent events you were involved in. What do you say? Shall we begin with an easy question? What is your name? Is it raining? Back again. Oh. I knew you couldn't stay away for long. Okay. Oh, I gotta type. You gotta type this out. What do you want to say? Uh, uh, how are you doing today? I've had better days. How's the weather outside? You know, try to get her to speak the truth. Wait, that's not how you spell weather. There you go. How's the weather? I am um, not sure what you are asking. It's raining outside. Or did you not know that? Um. Can we turn on some light? Sorry. All of my eye assistants are offline because of the electrical storm last night. So you can't just flick a switch each one? Okay. Um. May I sit down? I don't know why I have a capital D. Ask me again in a way I understand. May I sit down on the couch? You do ask a lot of questions, do you? Yes. Can I move around? Is there anything I can click on? You know, uh, yeah, no, I can't click on anything. I don't know how to go about this. I'm a terrible in interrogator. Why am I here? I was wondering the same question. Who are you exactly? And why are you writing down so many notes? Note unlocked. Purpose unknown. Huh. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a volunteer. I arrange gatherings and parties for different charities. All right. Do you... Enjoy being a volunteer. 
Do you mind rephrasing the question? Is there a way to look at notes? Okay. Volunteers at charity. Maybe if I ask about the charity. What charities do you attend? Many different charities. Mother likes us to get around. What charities does your Mother, like. Try asking that later. I'm still choosing my words. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so. Okay, so right now I just have Purpose Unknown and Charities, or Volunteers at Charities. Do you talk to friends? Only when I need to help grease the wheels of society's elite. Feel of society elite. Do you mind rephrasing the question? Um, go to any social gathering. Do I look like a guppy? Stop fishing and ask me a question I know the answer to. But you should. Do you like going out? Do you like going out? I did, up until he shot Jeffrey. Okay. Who shot Jeffrey? I think that's how you spell his name. George shot Jeffrey in the liquor store. Why did he shoot him? Sorry, but who are you talking about? Why did George... George was here. Why did George shoot Jeffrey? George killed Jeffrey because Jeffrey was about to kill Noah. You see, Noah had stolen the necklace that we were going to use as payment for Angelica. Who is Noah? Oh, Noah. He's that horrible thief that hangs out around the liquor store. I caught him trying to steal my wallet six times last month. Some dancer my husband was sleeping Oh my. With. Who is your husband? Victor, that idiotic louse. Where is Victor? I have no clue. Hopefully at the city morgue.
Okay, that's a lot of information. Okay, so she's a wife who volunteers at charities. Someone's husband may be dead, despised by Emma. Who's Emma? Um, killed by George, shot by George. Wait, are all these different people? Okay, so this is an individual. This is lady we are talking to. Okay. Me? Question mark. Uh. Victor, by the shop, uh, club with Angelica, despised by Emma, husband dead, killed by George, shot by George. This must be Jeffrey. Jeffrey. A bottle of Chateau Petrus. I took it when I left the liquor store. I'd offer you a glass, but the bottle is empty. I said printing, not drinking. Wait, is she Emma? Oh, that's her name. Her name's Emma. Okay. Emma. Okay. Um. Why? Do you is there's a D by Victor? Let's see. Victor has cheated on me, stole my money, and lied so often that I wouldn't even know what the truth sounded like from him. So Victor's a liar. Sleeping around with other women. When was the last time What is that noise? Two Victor. I was under the impression you were the police. I can still ask when you last talked to me. I am with the police. I assumed, but you haven't shown me a badge. Let us continue about Victor. Do you mind rephrasing the question? What else? I'm probably not supposed to be typing long questions, but still. What do you know about Angelica? Am I supposed to know that? 
try asking me something else. Who is or no? Um let me go to my book. Sleep around with her dad, so with Angelica. Jeffrey. Let's talk about Jeffrey. Did Jeffrey? No. Victor. They met once at one of my fundraisers, but they didn't speak to each other for long. How do you know? Victor slept with Angelica. How about asking me your question in plain English? Oh, it's, it's as plain as I can get. Maybe because it was too long. Victor slept with and. Angelica? Question mark? Ask me again in a way I understand. Who's Victor's? Miss Trip. He seldom spoke of her. I think she lives in New Jersey. Does Victor go to New Jersey? Sorry, I don't know that. Wait, how many individuals are there? 17. Gee. Is your phone ringing? Sorry, I was lost in my own thoughts. What did you say? Come on. Can I? Trying to look around. Do you watch T V? Not really. I do like to have the television on for background noise, though. Um. What fun do you hear a phone? Oh, darling, of course I do, but I think Vera took it from it. Who is Vera. She's the friendly nurse that comes into my room in the mornings and gives me my pills. Uh, may I have water? Wow, that question flew right over my head. Try asking again. Okay. Um When does Vera come? Who knows? Ask me something else. Uh 
Okay, so Vera. Vera's a nurse. Which one is she? Where is Vera? Vera should be by any time now. It's getting close to lunch. Okay, so it's about lunchtime right now. Vera works here. Okay. Where is George? there's any justice the police arrested him I know the police arrived after he shot Jeffrey okay where did George shoot Jeffrey George shot Jeffrey near the cash register in the liquor store Okay. I already unlocked that. No. Nope. Possibly arrested, killed, Jeffrey, shot. Okay, so this must be George right here. What did Noah see? That little creep stole my necklace from Jeffrey. What kind of necklace? It was a diamond necklace and quite expensive. Fortune. Okay. Where is the... Where is the necklace? When Victor died, Brandy took the necklace and... Who's Brandy? Uh, was she was Jeffrey's secretary. Oh. Where does Jeffrey work? Yes, Jeffrey was a lawyer and owned a firm in the city. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this is Brandy. This is Vera. Try to look around the room a little bit. Uh, do you like flowers? Of course. I don't know anyone who doesn't. You've seen this box that we have. Do you like boxes? I enjoy a good salmon steak. Does Brandy know you? My lips are sealed. Is 
Jeffrey, your mother's lawyer. How should I know? I don't know. You shouldn't at least know something about your mom. Who killed Victor? That darling girl, Brandy, killed Victor. Oh. Why did Brandy kill Victor? Victor killed her boyfriend, Todd, by mistake. Oh. She acted in self-defense. Why did Victor kill Todd? He thought Todd was Jeffrey. He wanted to kill Jeffrey in revenge. Did, what did Jeffrey do to Todd? He was a lawyer. Something to do with litigation, I believe. Was Brandy... arrested? No, but she hoped her boyfriend, Todd, would ask her one day. I didn't ask if she was gonna get married. Okay, this is just keeps getting interesting. Killed by Victor, shot dead. This must be Todd. Uh, where did Todd die? Unfortunately, in Jeffrey's law office. Todd died here. This is a. Hold on. This is Jeffrey's office. I am not sure what you mean. Are we at Jeffrey's office? When people ask me stupid questions, it is my legal obligation to give a sarcastic remark. I'm just asking if we're at Jeffrey's law firm. Where are we? We are sitting in my apartment in New York. Are you sure? Are you doubting my answer? Yes. yes. To what? Precisely. What did Vera take? She took my phone from me. She said it was causing me grief. Okay. Who do you call? Jeffrey is the love of my life. Oh. And myself. Of course, one must learn to love themselves above all others. She loved Jeffrey. Did 
did Victor know you love Jeffrey? Victor might have had his suspicions. I didn't know he was having an affair until Angelica told him. How um, did Angelica know about your affair? Maybe ask me something else. Where is the gun? What gun? Victor's gun. I really don't have the energy to pretend that you are asking something clever. Do you have the time? When Victor died, Brandy took the necklace and escaped. I didn't ask that. Do you know what time it is? Uh, a lot has happened. You might want to ask me a more specific question. What is that? Noise. Probably my neighbor. They can be so noisy sometimes. Okay. I got an achievement about asking about noises. <laughs> um, I'm confused. Okay, let's go back to the liquor store. Where is the liquor? How do you spell liquor. Liquor. Store? I think that's a. I don't know. The liquor store on the corner. Simply walk south when you leave the lobby and you can't miss it. Okay. Is the... Uh, liquor store... Open? Oh, please. Like I would know that. You should. You stole the bottle. Did you turn the printer? No, you don't have to repeat yourself. I was ignoring you the first time. Why are you ignoring me? Am I supposed to know that? Try asking me something else. Where do I work? I don't work. I volunteer to host benefits with my mother. Do you enjoy being with your mother? Oh, please. Like I would know that. You should. Where is your father? He's in an urn on my mother's fireplace mantle. What happened to your father? My father died in a car accident. Another reason why I'm not particularly eager to drive. Do you have any... The hell's that noise?
Any brother? Thankfully, I was an only child. My parents barely had enough time for me. No siblings. How was your childhood? Very privileged, darling. Hmm. Um, where did Victor work? Who knows for certain? He was floating around from theater to theater a lot. Huh. Victor was an actor? How about asking me your question in plain English? Hmm. I've never seen any ghosts, but there's always hmm. a first time for everything. I didn't mean to question reality, but I just kept hearing noises. Um, are you real? Is anyone really real? To why am I here today? I was wondering the same question. Who are you exactly? And why are you writing down so many notes? Do you write any notes? Only notes, mostly. I would love to write a novel someday. Do you read books? I've heard Haunted Ends. Soul Searcher by Elizabeth Price is quite good. Very creepy. Elizabeth Price. Um. I just noticed there's shoes. Who is in the other room? Do you mean my living room? Hopefully, no one. Do you play the piano? My mother insisted I have lessons as a girl, but I hardly remember how to play anymore. Where did you meet? Jeffrey. We met at a fundraiser. He was the most handsome man I'd ever seen. Where did you meet Brandy? A mutual friend introduced me at a party when I was in college. Where did you meet Vera? A mutual friend introduced me at a party when I was in college. Do you like to travel? Only on rare occasions. I haven't been out of the city for a while now. A mutual friend introduced me at a party when I was in college. Okay. Where did you go to college? My father insisted I attend university. It was the only way he'd release my trust fund when I turned 21. How old 
are you? Didn't your mother ever tell you it's impolite to ask a girl's age? Regardless, I'm 26. Okay. How tall are you? Five seven without heels. Five and with heels. And you'll seldom, if ever, see me out of heels. Do you get on the computer? I am um, not sure what you are asking. Do you believe in God? I guess. I've never been one for religion, but I suppose there's something out there. Where is Angelica? Now, I believe she's in the morgue. Wait, was Angelica dead? What? What do you mean currently here? Who's all here? Only us, as far as I know. Unless you have a friend up your sleeve you plan to introduce me to later. Are we at the more? When people ask me stupid questions, it is my legal obligation to give a sarcastic remark. Who works at the morgue. Ask me again in a way I understand. Who is dead? There are so many now. I can't keep them all straight. Did you kill? Someone. And ruin this manicure. Please, you don't need to get your hands dirty when you have money. Um. Are you rich? I would say relatively well off. Okay. She's wealthy and crazy. Where is mother? You can probably find her at the mall, trying on a new dress for her next benefit dinner. When is the next fundraiser? I am um, not sure what you are asking. What are the lights flickering? My eyes feel exhausted and the light hurts them. Are you married? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure anymore. I suppose I'm a widow now. What a dreadful thought. Do you talk about family? I really don't have the energy to pretend that you are asking something clever. Where is your family? My mother is around, somewhere. My dad died a few years ago.
What is your favorite color? I never gave it much thought. I think red. I keep seeing red wherever I look lately. Every color red. Is it windy? Sorry, I don't know that. There will be. How do you feel about family? Mm, she's a darling girl. Jeffrey says we act like sisters sometimes. Ooh. Brandy? What? How do you feel about family? She's the darling girl. Jeffrey says we act like sisters. That makes no sense. Are you and Brandy close? I was friendly with Brandy. I wouldn't call us friends. To your mother. Are you sure you want to ask that question? You might not want to hear the answer. Mm. Interesting. Well, uh, Emma, I believe this is it for today's session. I do appreciate your time, and hopefully you would be able to give me more answers than ignoring me most of our time. So anyway, I will bid you adieu. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of this, I can ask her more questions. There's a lot of stuff she knows based on this book. It's only revealed 1.8% and written down 26.6 percent. That's actually not bad. I don't have a quarter of the information that I need down. And I found two achievements, which was talking about ghosts and noises. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in this next interrogation. Bye.